it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul video. This one is a decent sized one, but not everything showed up, so I'll explain when we get to that part. So the first item I got is the Croc Sloan Slide in the Moonlight Garden. They are a nice looking Croc. I love the pattern, and the rubber on the top, or the plastic, whatever you call it, is shaped like it's quilted, which is just like Vera Bradley, and it has this little Vera Bradley button sort of built in. They are very soft, they're the croc standard fabrication. I wanted size 10, that's my size, but they sold out so quickly and I sort of missed the boat. There are no deals, no sales, no coupons on these. They are full price all the time until who knows when, sometime down the road, they might get off of that train. But you can purchase them either from Vera or through Crocs, but availability has been the issue. So when these came back out again and I missed the resupply, but these ones I ended up getting in size 11, but because of the style of shoe, they're fine, very comfortable, very functional, they fit great. And I've been wearing them all, all afternoon, actually, since they arrived. Come here, come on. Kelly wants to say hi, oh, or not, come on. Yep, she does. Hey there. She says it's dinner time, but she's wrong. <laughs> it's like an hour and a half away. All right, go on. Anyway, so, Next item I got is the Iconic Backpack Baby Bag in Gage Blue. It is a beautiful, vibrant blue. I don't have a baby, but I do love backpacks, and I thought this would be a nice, different sort of style of one to, to grab and see how it goes. It's got a couple features I really like as well. So this one, I don't like this metal zipper. I really hate it, and I'm really hoping they're gonna disappear them soon. Inside you have that generic microfiber interior with the different color dots. So you have like your coral and orange and red and and uh, there's blue dots, but the blue kind of blends in with the black. They're hard to see, especially on the video there. Anyway, the front pocket is, oh, and that's why I hate the stupid zipper. There we go. Then the next pocket here is a nice smooth zipper. It's one side. And inside you have your baby changing pad, which has the dot floral thing on one side and just a gauge blue nylon on the other side. It's got some padding to it. It's not like hefty padding or anything. It's just a little bit poofy. And it's sewn with a, a cross in the middle so it's like quadrants so that it'll stay together and it's not totally floppy. Um, this can be used for a lot of other things. If you don't have a baby, don't think, I'm never gonna buy a baby bag. Well, I just do what I want. And you could use this as a picnic mat. You can use it for like when you're doing arts and crafts on a table and you don't wanna mess up your tablecloth. So many things I could think of to use that for. So, whatever. Don't just throw it away. Next thing is the Stitty Bag. So it comes with this, I don't think they call it a Diddy Bag. It's not a traditional shape. It's just a squared off bag, not the bucket bottom. But it's nylon on the outside, and I think it's like a waterproof nylon, actually. And then the inside is plasticized. Makes sense for a baby bag. I'm gonna use this for other stuff, probably nothing to do with the backpack, but it does have the double drawstring that I like. And there you go, a little waterproof bag for whatever suits you. So both of these fit nicely into this pocket. It is an open pocket, it has the one mesh thing, which coincidentally perfectly fits your changing mat, so you can't even see it's in there. And then this can fit right here or wherever. For now, that's where it will go. All right, so that's the front pocket. Other than that, it's a fairly simple backpack. It does have two large pockets. The one pocket, main, main section here, has two blue mesh on the top with the elastic. And then in the back, it has a laptop section or a tablet, whatever. It's padded and padded, just like you'd expect. It doesn't have that, usually they have that little Velcro tab. That's okay, it's not necessary. The rest of the pocket is decent size. And then on this side, it has a zipper pocket and it goes about two thirds of the way down. So lined in blue. So there you go. That's a little bit different, totally different configuration than normal backpacks. So normally your tablet section or whatever would be just like that diagonal halfway. This one doesn't, it opens all the way around the top. So it goes like that, um, which is interesting, just a little different. The other really cool thing about this backpack is the side pockets are lined insulated. That's very cool. So both sides are that way. And so if you want to keep your water cold or hot or whatever, 
there's a nice little option. So it's a great little day pack. It's, I would say, a medium-sized backpack, medium to large, um, more on the medium side. So there you go. And, oh, here we go. This is a Pretty Posies water bottle. And let's just see how it fits very nicely. There you go. So insulated water bottle, insulated pocket, no problem there. All right. This is just a screw-off cap. Nice, double-walled, very nice water bottle. I have several of them. I got this one because I have a bunch of backpacks and travel things in that. Kelly, no. Hey, baby, go lay down. All right, so this is the all-in-one crossbody wristlet, whatever, in Fireworks Paisley. And I definitely took advantage of the Fireworks closeout on that. And the next item is the iconic hanging travel organizer in Fireworks Paisley. It has the ties, you know, at the top, which I've already untied. And it has the carrying handles, which are great. And then you hang it up. You can do it at home, you can keep it all the time that way, and just fold it up and go on your trips. You can do all different things with it. Um, I have one right now that's packed as a travel first aid, and it's it's got band-aids, but it has like wet wipes and antiseptic wipes and all different kinds of wipes. It has like Toms and uh, Imodium and all that other stuff, and just things you need, non-standard. I'll be gone for nine weeks and I don't wanna to have to go see the ship dock or in other foreign countries trying to figure out little chintzy medical care stuff. So bring the basics, take care of yourself. Some decongestant, some Motrin, some Advil, Aleve, whatever variant you like of that thing. But anyway, you can do a lot of different things with these, not just toiletries or makeup. Anyway, so on that note, here's another one. <laughs> I've got several already and then just added a couple more and there's a couple more on the wish list, but they're all different for different reasons, different patterns, different. This is a lighten up version. There's also um, larger size, the grand size, and I like that too. So we'll do another uh, video with all the, the hanging travel organizers and compare and contrast. Um, before I do that though, I'm waiting because I want to get one of the compact size ones and hopefully soon. So we'll see how that goes to line them up side by side. But anyway, so the lighten up version is just the same. And of note, by the way, on these, this top pocket, if you're not familiar, you open it up and it has a lot of organization inside. So there's a big slip. And then if you look the front of the slip, there's like two more rows of slip pockets. So if you have a bunch of little things like Imodium and Tums and Pepto-Bismol and all your little like They're in the pill popper things and so they're very flat and they go really nicely in there together That's what I'm using for on my other one, but anyway, so there you go. There's two of those one cotton and one lighten up Oh, this was Firefly Garden by the way, which goes very nicely with the Moonlight Garden Look at that. I love those flowers. Okay Next item also in Moonlight Garden this is the iconic cord organizer. Um, I went a little crazy with this pattern. I really didn't need this new accessory, but I do travel and even when I'm not traveling, I always kind of keep my tech packed together. But this is a great grab and go. They could even use in a big purse bag. Um, it is gusseted on the sides. So I would have thought, usually when they're set up like that, so you just can open it like that. This one is not, it's a one zipper. That's fine. No issues there. Then it's got two mesh pockets on one side. On the other side, you can see that I've already used one of the elastics to put a charger. This is a Vera Bradley charger in the charcoal medallion. What, I don't know what you're supposed to use these for. I can think of a lot of things, but in my case, what are you bringing? You're bringing your batteries, you're bringing cords, you're bringing things like that. This is a skinny one. This one is a wide slot. This is almost too tight to barely get this in. It was really, it's really, really tight in there. Um, I would just recommend to make those like two even sized things and they'd be great because I have two of these and I'll just line them up side by side, whatever. That's just my suggestion. Let me take it out so I don't lose it. All right, on this side you have this nice snap so you can put a cord on there and then just keep it kind of from getting tangly all over. You've got a slip pocket and then a nice little zip also in front so you can use this for so many different things you can make it a travel first aid you got lots of options it's just an accessory size and shape and configuration that i didn't have and made sense to get so 
There you have it. I thought, fun. All right, next item. This is the Spiral Notebook set in Springtide Navy. They come like this, they're a little set of two. I have several sets of them, because I bought them as gifts for friends on the cruise, but here's what they look like when you open them up. They're great size, you can see it in my hand. It's just, you know, throw it in your pocket, throw it in your purse, throw it in your backpack. Same with this one, a little bit bigger. They are lined, so they have, can you see that? There you go, lines and just a spiral. They're good quality paper, not too chintzy. Anyway, outside is the turtles and whatnot, and inside is just the ropes. This one's ropes and stars on the outside, and ropes and stars on the inside. It's nice, they go together. So I got one for me and one for my friends I'm traveling with on this big adventure. Also, um, if you watched my previous haul video, you saw that I got the small clip notes. It's a little clipboard with a notepad on it. I already put magnets on the back of mine so I could put it on my cabin door, um, assuming they're magnetized like all the other ones I've been on, and just have that. So if I'm not there, my friends come by, they could leave me a little note, it'll be fun. Um, and guess what? These are gifts for them. So the people I'm traveling with, if you're watching, hey, assuming I can pack it with my luggage, but we'll see. All right, the next item I got is actually um, four items. Three of them are here. One of them didn't come in the mail. There was a little glitch in the system and for whatever reason, the one piece dropped out. But shout out to Rachel at Bear Bradley Customer Service. I talked to her on the phone today, just not even an hour ago, and she helped me fix the problem. She was able to pull up the receipt, see what happened or whatever. Anyway, so she's expressing that one item to me, thankfully, before they run out, which is great. But the four items are loungewear in what purple? It's the Lavender Meadow. It is a beautiful, vibrant on the fabrics. I wasn't sure if they were gonna come out or that they would match each other with a different fabric, but they do. Um, so here's what I got. I already have the, I don't think they're called yoga pants, but basically the leggings and the capri length in the Lavender Meadow. And then this is the uh, Fleur Cami. There's the back of it. Nice little V or whatever on the back. And then the front, just nice, it's just a cami, but it has a nice flowy bottom to it, so it's not like a fitted cami or anything, I like that. Um, very, very super soft, like jersey knit material, quite nice actually. Hey Kelly, come on, come on. She just sits here and watches everything and then runs, <laughs> go see what's in the backyard. Well, go get it. All right. So this one is the Aster Lace Top. I have to look over here because I wrote down the names of these. They're sort of different. Um, this one is a different material. First of all, you have the lace, obviously, in the sides. It's not gonna expose your nipples or anything weird. It's just in a very discreet area. It is sleeveless, obviously. Um, but it's sort of a flowy material. I don't know what you call it, polyester, rayon, like that kind of thing. I bet there's a tag that says what it's made of. Let's see. Rayon, hey. How about that? All right, I may not be smart, but I know things. Here we go. So there's the front of it. it, has a nice trim pattern down the front. It's like I said, very flowy material, great for Arizona. On the back, it has this little button at the neck. And then on the side, which facing it for me is my right side from the back, it has also a zipper for putting it on. And that actually goes half the length of the side of the, the top. So beautiful, lightweight top, perfect for Arizona summers. You can wear it around the house, you can wear a little sweater over it, take it outside or something else. That's great. The thing that did not come was the Cassia Capri pants. They are also in that same rayon material. They're sort of like the uh, Palazzo pants, um, but they're Capri length, so very flowy. It is a very thin, very nice material, but it's not like thin see-through. It's, it's actually very nice. Um, so that didn't come, those are on their way, but I did get the shorty shorts, they're the Briar shorty shorts. Now I don't like short shorts, but around the house or like summer pajamas, these would be perfect. So there you go. Um, yeah, you could wear these inside, outside, I think they're, they're, they're very nice. Now, the fact that they're quality and pretty and very functional and all of that is one thing, but honestly, they are way overpriced. So, 
I was able to get these with Vera birthday sale and some coupons and anyways, mix and match, but got a good deal on them, thankfully, or I would have never, never, never got them. Because even though I love them, seriously, 68 bucks for a pair of shorts or whatever it was, that's crazy. I'm not crazy. Well, okay, I'm a little crazy on there, but anyway, not actually certifiable or anything. We've got two luggage tags, the iconic luggage tags. We got the Toss Posies, or Pretty Posies, rather, and this is a breast cancer pattern. I have multiple backpacks in this, but realized I was one tag short, so I got that. And then I got one in Makani Paisley. I don't have anything in Makani Paisley, but I do have one Kona Paisley item, and that is my sling backpack. And I do have the extra large campus backpack on my wish list, so this can go either way with those when the time comes. All right, next items, um, I got the mechanical pencil set in Summer 19 Medley. So really pretty colors. I know it's kind of a glare on the plastic there, but you can see there's your um, Moonlight Garden. You got the interior for that. You got the mint flowers and its interior, and then the Makani Paisley. Seems like they would make six pack to get all six, but whatever. Um, but I do like mechanical pencils, they're great. I mean, they're just pretty simple. And because I got a sale, everything was, um, for the sale it was 25% off for Vera's birthday, but for a VIP shopper, you got 30% off. So that was nice. And some of the things were already on sale. So I got the stuff that was 40% on sale already went to 30%, but I got 30% plus 30%. So that's pretty cool. And these are highlighters, which are the same. They're the Summer 19 medley. They're the same patterns in there, but they have two ends. So you have a very narrow, pointed, and then you have your normal broad chisel tip for those. I've never used these, but I thought for travel highlighters, these would be perfect. So there you go. So I got my travel highlighter set. All right. Next item is the pocket folders, and these are in Butterfly Flutter. I got two sets because I'm, a, I'm an organization freak. I'm always like carrying stuff, papers to and from a doctor's appointment or uh, whatever. So I like these folders because they're actually made of plastic. So I bought two sets. They come with two different, you got the pattern and then like a coordinating one. And I have some that are opened. This is the Dream Tapestry ones. But just to kind of show you what they are. So they have a little Vera Bradley thing in the bottom, on the back. But you open them up, the pocket folders. But they're that, they're, they're that very robust, like you know those binders that are made out of that same stuff. But I figure they'll be much more durable than the paper ones that always wear out there or the folder um, pockets rip or what, anyway. The other one, coordinating pattern. So there's your Vera label on the back. You open it up. Voila. Anyway, so folders, folders, folders. Add to the collection of pretty folders. There you go. Okay, so the last item that I got on this order that's here is if for the sale, if you spent $125, you got a iconic slim wristlet. I think that's what it's called. RFID. Iconic RFID slim wristlet. And this one is in blackberry wine. So nice maroon color, but it's that super, super soft, velvety feel to it. Um, it's an interesting wristlet. It's about the size of the front zip wristlet, um, but there is no pockets on the outside. It does have the little bear label there. So that's nice. Um, it has a strap, which you could use it like this cute little purse strap. You can unhook that and hook it on your zipper if you want it. You know, some wristlets have like that so that when you zip or unzip, there's like a wristlet or whatever, I don't know. You could also clip it over here. Not so easily come to find out, but you can clip it on its own loop. Or whatever, anyway, and have just your wristlet strap. But it's interesting because it's not fully removable. It's just, I'm not, I haven't figured out yet what I'm supposed to do with that. Maybe I'm just supposed to leave it right here, but then why have a clip? I suppose you can use it to clip it onto something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Anyway, so inside you have this cute pattern where if you haven't seen it yet, it has all these little animals. So for example, this adorable fox right there in the middle. There's also quail right there. 
And I'm trying to see if there's more. Some of these are upside down. I don't know why they wouldn't just put the fabric up right. So there's a rabbit. There's also woodpeckers. There, oh, well, there's part of one right on the edge. Oops, zipper out of the way. So there's a woodpecker. There's also a little gerbil and a squirrel. So just depending on which cut of the pattern you get, you might get any or all of those critters and creatures. Oh, here's a chipmunk right here. Yeah, so anyway, it's fun, just a little hide and seek. Inside you have, on the back, starting from the front to the back, you have a big slip. Then you have a nice pocket. There's a clear ID window there with the quick release slot in it. Then you have your coins zipper pouch. Then on the other side of that, you have two card slots right there. And then the back is just the main pocket, so nothing else there. So lots of utility to this little slim wristlet. And I just said it's really soft. And that is all for this one. Um, wide variety of items this time around. Some really great deals with the, the stackable sale items. And happy birthday to Vera. And it's not my birthday, but happy birthday to me because that was fun. And I do have some more stuff coming, not just the one item that was missing, but I did order some stuff today because today, the 8th of August, was the release of the Performance Twill. So if you're waiting for that, it is some of it is on sale for 25% off with the back to school sale that's currently happening. So a little a little gimme there for the new stuff. And if you were a VIP shop, you also got the coupon. I don't know if that only went to VIPs or to everybody. Anyway, there was another 25% coupon for the Performance Twill release because it was supposed to release during the Vera birthday sale and it did not. So they gave kind of a rain check coupon for follow up on that so people didn't miss out. So that's a nice little thing. So I ordered some stuff because that's a good deal, 25 plus 25. So anyway, have fun, take care, enjoy the rest of your summer. That's it for this one, bye for now.